before we get to the repercharge and, and the final race, let's talk about the 1 8 finals and how close it was against Jack Carlin. I mean, against Jack Carlin, I mean, he's an experienced racer. I mean, it was a great race. Tactically, I think I played it out as best as I could, and it just comes down to the line. Was that one of your closest races? Yeah, yeah, I think that's one of my closest races thus far, yeah. Then you had to look for the repertoire. Of course, three were in it, so not quite fully in your hands. It didn't quite turn out the way you wanted it to. Yeah, yeah I mean, three ups are totally different. I mean, to, totally different tactics because it's just two persons that you're looking at. So, I mean, you just have to ride and hope that the race plays out in your hands. And that's it. I thought your approach was pretty unique, and I'm sure people looking now would have thought the, the same thing. Uh, what do you take away from uh, this particular event? Ah, I take away a lot. I mean, I never take it as a lose, I take it as a lesson. And I mean, next four years again, come back even fitter, even stronger, and more mentally fit to go through the wrong. So I think, yeah, just looking ahead and looking for more better things. I know you had lost the world record earlier in the day. Um, what did it feel like losing that, that mark uh, beside your name? I wouldn't say I lost anything, but I gained more drive to work towards getting faster and being able to retain or get back my world record, so yeah. All right, looking forward to it, but you're looking ahead to the Kieran next. Yeah, Kieran on Saturday, so now it's about recovering, resting, and getting ready for Saturday. All the best, brother. Thank you.